Basically, what I just said was, um, welcome to episode 51, and, you know, this is going to be a very awkward show, because I'm a very awkward girl, and I don't like being on camera, but, you know, I'm a grown-ass woman, I'm 25, um, and I really want to get into this podcast shit, so it's just going to have to be something I get over, and I'm willing to get over it, with minor panic attacks in the middle. Okay, but, um... Yeah, today is going to be a super fun episode. I don't have an existential crisis for you guys today. Um, and I don't have an am I the asshole for you guys today. I kind of want those to be like little treats, um, little segmented treats that I do in, um, in just random episodes. I feel like I don't want to drag it out, um, especially since I do a podcast episode every Sunday. Um, and also, before I jump into the topics that I have on my handy dandy cellular device would you guys be down if i like or would you guys be mad at me if i decided to like upload an episode every other sunday like uh, like bi-weekly like a paycheck that's crazy um so yeah let me know what you guys think about that and also you guys commented so much on the video episode some people dm me personally which i don't mind um and some people commented on the actual uh youtube video and it's very sweet. Some people um, didn't watch it and they told me that they weren't going to watch it. And I respect that. Like I said in the last video, maybe don't tell me that. But, you know, it's cool. I respect your decisions. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to see, have you guys here. See all my anime stuff. It's not mine, but I purposely wanted it in here because, look, this is a Dragon Ball. You know, I should have I should have bought a Patari earring. Okay, let's get into the topics guys um before actually before we get into the topics let me um what was i about to say lord why do you guys watch this this is so unhinged jesus christ oh also psa because listen i understand there's like a world a big bad world out there of like content creators and influencers and stuff like that I'm not even trying to be an influencer. I'm just trying to be like a genuine safe space for like troubled black women and not even trouble. Like if you're just fine, like if you're not, if you don't have any like chemical imbalance or like no mental health issues and like no childhood trauma or just like trauma in general, somehow you've just like won the jackpot of life and that's great. You can also watch this podcast, you know, just because you're not crazy on paper that don't mean you know you know that don't mean you're not really crazy so if you see this on your tiktok page or your instagram page and you're a black girl you should automatically follow because like why would you not why would you not i look it's a safe space we can talk about anything we can be who we want to be you're not going to get judged nobody's going to call you a black bitch nobody's going to call you a ghetto bitch nobody's going to over sexualize you over here nobody's gonna you know talk about what weave and who you trying to be when you got the weave nobody's gonna be colorist nobody's gonna look we're chilling over here you see my leg up whole crotch is exposed i'm not worried about it because why because this is a safe space as a black woman and as a black woman you should support other black women by following and subscribing yeah you like how i did that that was nice um let's jump right into the topics because i said this video wasn't gonna be long we'll see we'll see how 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 true that is <laughs> well actually i feel like there's a lot that's going on in my life right now but i don't want to talk about it until i get the patreon because even though I, you guys basically know my whole life, like I'm 51 episodes in talking about something I don't want you guys to know my whole life. You know everything except the tissue I use to wipe my ass. But there's some parts of my life that um, 
are uh sensitive to me and I don't mind telling the stories I just would prefer you know I would prefer them to be in a tight-knit community um and I would prefer you know a transactional (laughs) I would prefer to get paid for those stories because your girl has been through a lot and as much as I like as much as it heals me to tell you guys and to get it off my chest and for you guys to also tell me your stories for free is crazy because it costs me a lot to go through it and I want it to cost just as much for me to tell it so if you don't feel the same that's fine you can rock out with me on YouTube Spotify Apple Podcasts, all of that uh we're still gonna be like this it's just that the people who pay for Patreon we're gonna be like we're gonna be you know yeah, we gonna be, we gonna be locked in, locked in. Um, but I do just want to tell you guys some real shit before I get into the topics. Um, I have been really, really, really sad lately, and I know that's not new. You know, a bitch is a walking sad piece of shit. Um, but no, I just been feeling really sad. And if there's anybody who is adopted or has been in foster care or any situation like that you always kind of have this and i've spoke about this before on here you kind of always have this like loss i call it the the um lost puppy syndrome you kind of always have this uh feeling of being unwanted in the back of your mind like over the slightest shit like um somebody could say something to me in the wrong tone and i'm just like oh my god they fucking hate me they never they don't want me anymore like they never want to see me again like that's always my first um go to because you know i i'm i'm traumatized from it you know that's that's what i've experienced uh partially my whole life so anytime somebody has an attitude with me anytime somebody like even if it's not if it doesn't have anything to do with me and they're just like off like having a, a day themselves if they don't clarify with me that it's not me and that it's something personal going on with them I beat myself up because I'm just like what did I do to make them not want me anymore so um the thing I really want to talk about is my parents but I won't talk about that here I'll talk about it on the patreon um that's gonna be a hell of a first episode on the patreon because I still got to tell y'all my grippy sock vacation story and bitch oh that was like a literal hell um but I've been going through some stuff with my parents that's been making me really sad. And um, also, okay, girl to girl, girl to girl, you right there, girl to girl. Let me ask you a question. Whether you date men, women, identify as a woman or man, let me ask you a fucking question, all right? Because I be trying to gaslight myself into thinking that shit it ain't what it is and it, it, it is, okay? So listen to this. This is some real FaceTime gossip ass shit. So y'all know I be talking about my man that's not my man, right? He my man, but he not my man. Also, I have a bad story and a good story to say about this nigga. That's crazy. So we gonna start with the bad story because that's just the type of bitch I am. Let's get it out the way. So I was uh, recently with him for Thanksgiving. I had a great time, wonderful time. Blew my back out, ate some good food. It was it was my two favorite combinations. I was like, wow, can't wait to do this again. But when we were leaving, um, for those of you know me personally, you know he works in aviation, and so did I. That's how we met. So we're going to the airport. We're in the airport because he's about to start working on his flight, and I'm about to go to fuck back home. And so I hope you don't watch this episode because I I text him about it, and he was just like, "Yeah, that didn't mean anything." And I was like, mm-hmm. "It meant something to me, nigga." Um. So let me tell you. So he was telling me about his crew that he's working with on this flight. And while he's mentioning this crew, he's talking about one flight attendant that he loves working with. Right. He said that he said, Oh, I love working with her because we just get to whatever the fuck he said. Right. After he said the word love, I promise you I hear shit else. So that kind of made my eye, you know, you know, uh, long time, long time, crazy bitch. That made my eye kind of switch. I was like, okay. Right. So then he asked me randomly right after he said that he was like do you think um that you're a jealous person bitch the gemini in me his my head started fucking spinning i was like no nigga why'd you ask me that you know i like i could feel the gemini 
pop out my neck and be like, bitch, why the fuck he asked you that question? You need to stand on business right now. But I, I, I stuffed her back in there and I was like, no, I'm not. Also, I genuinely am not a jealous person. You could literally cheat on me and I'll be like, type shit. You know, I'm just, I just don't give a fuck. So that's also why he's not really my man. Cause I got, I, I can't like, if you cheat on me and I tell people that you're my nigga, I'm going to, I forget this is big, big YouTube. I can't say certain words, but yeah, I'm going to cause you physical harm and niggas be thinking I'm joking. I'm not, I'm not, I'll, 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 yeah, yeah. Um, so when he asked me that, I was like, have I ever given you an example or a reason to think that I was jealous? He was like, no. And I was like, so what the fuck you asked me that for? Like, it looked like he was playing in my face. Right. So uh, I wanted to ask him right there in the airport, but it, we was in the boarding area. There was families and shit around. And also we don't argue. We've never been to argue. I've known this nigga for three years. Never once have we gotten an argument. So it's just like, I was conflicted because I was like, do I want this to be our first argument? And I'm also trying to gaslight myself to tell myself it didn't mean anything, but it's just like, my intuition is ringing. Like my intuition was like, bitch, I'm about to punch you in the face. Like, don't ignore me. It does mean something. But also, it's just like, I, I, y'all, I don't know. I don't know. So so you tell me, girl, what would you think about that? And then I text him like a day later because I marinated on it. I'm not, you know, as much as the Gemini I wanted to be like, attack, bitch, I'll marinate on my feelings. I'm like, is there really something to pull out of here? Or am I just trying to like, am I just trying to beef myself up to be mad at something? And so the next morning, you know, I'm still pondering. And a bitch is still confused and angry. And I'm not mad. I'm just confused. Because it made me look at him like, what the fuck did you ask me that for? You know how niggas be telling on themselves? They ask you a dumbass question. Whole time under that question, it's a, a load of shit, you know? So I texted him. And I was like, you know, basically you said something that bothered me. You know, I told him. And he was like, oh, it was just a random question. I didn't mean anything by it. I don't know about y'all. I don't never ask no random ass questions. Every question I ask, God, I'm, 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 it's something behind that. I mean something behind it, or I'm about to say something else that's included in that question. So that was stupid as fuck. So I was just like, all right, that's all I said. I was like, all right, okay. Um, and that made me sad, you know, cause I was just like, I feel like there's something there. My heart is not beating this fast and my intuition isn't knocking on my fucking head like this for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Every time I've ever had one of these feelings, I've always been right. So it's just like, and also, oh my God, I forgot the main part of the story that was making me mad. I walked him to his gate, right? The flight attendant that he talking about it, that bitch looked happy as fuck to see him. She, she was running up to him like he was her fucking dad. I was like, if the question about me being jealous didn't piss me off, that pissed me the fuck off. Cause why the fuck you so happy to see him? It's, it's a lot, like it's a whole crew of y'all. You happy to see this nigga? Okay. <sighs> okay. So y'all. That made me sad because I was just like, this nigga's probably fucking on her. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't, and I'm not saying he is. Because he, he, you know, he genuinely might not be. He genuinely not might not be. But y'all, you, you know what I'm saying? I'm chemically imbalanced. My brain go to bad shit first and only. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's contributing to the sadness. Um, But to smooth that over, to smooth that older, over, I have a good story to tell about... Uh, it, damn, it ain't even about him. It's about his family. But anyway, I, I really do... Oh, Jesus Christ. Listen. So the good story is um I was invited. Well, I wasn't invited, but I was allowed to go to his cousins like uh it was like a part 2 Thanksgiving for just their cousins, right? And if you're a long-time listener of this show, you know that I'm not I'm not a real family bitch, right? But I think what I've learned over this past Thanksgiving by not being with my family is that I really need to stop saying that because I'm not not a family person I'm just not a my family person you know what I'm saying I don't fuck with my family your family I'm gonna eat them up you know I love them I'm sitting down I'm toasting we joking we laughing we playing cards and shit I played Uno for the first time why was that my first time playing Uno bitch I don't know but it was and I won the first time so I was like <laughs> this is amazing um but uh so like i said all of his cousins were there and i got to go because i've met uh like i'll say 50 percent of his whole family and that was just another percentage that i wanted to meet and they let me go so i was gassed and um his cousin said the most beautiful speech i ever heard in my life and i actually started crying i actually had to like 
you know, turn my head and wipe my eye because I was just like, damn, like, what the fuck is wrong with my family? Um, so just to give you guys a little snippet of the toast, um, his cousin, you know, had a drink and uh, he was like, I just wanted to thank you guys for coming over here. You know, he was like, when we were little kids, you know, we weren't allowed to dislike each other. We weren't allowed to be away from each other. We had to be friends. Like, we had to love our cousins. We all had to be together and experience shit with each other. Um, and he was like, ever since, you know, we had a death in the family or niggas started having kids and niggas started getting grown, you know, we don't see each other. Niggas live in different states, you know, cross bridges, and we don't get to see each other a lot. Um, he was like, and I really want to make this a habit of us getting together and just being in each other's presence. He was like, you know, I love you guys. You know, I know you guys love me. Like, it was just such a heartfelt ass speech. Bitch, I'm choking up right now. I was like, yo, like this nigga really love y'all. Like I'm looking at him. I'm looking at everybody else. And I'm just like, <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Like, this was beautiful. My family don't do shit like that at all. Like, I don't even think we i don't even think i can't remember the last time a motherfucker in my family uttered the word love you know what i'm saying let alone raise the toast to a motherfucker so i was just like wow and i and i i'm i'm on my life i genuinely like started crying i wasn't boohoo crying i wasn't taking a moment away from niggas talking trying to make it about me but i quietly had a couple tears drop and i was like damn this is um the perspective of this is crazy because i felt like he was talking to me. Like, I felt like I was a part of that family. And I'm like, damn, whole time I'm dreading coming back to my family. I didn't even, I chose not to spend Thanksgiving with my family because I don't fuck with them niggas. So it's just like to have, to feel that way about my own family and to see this like example of another family. It's just like, it is, it genuinely is my family. Like it genuinely is. These niggas are the bane of my existence. And like, <laughs> something gotta give you know what i'm saying and it's not even it's my birth family and my adopted family bitch so it's like how did i get you know how did i how did i how did i get two fucked up ones you know what i'm saying crazy but also happy thanksgiving i hope y'all had you know <laughs> hope y'all had a great time hope y'all ate some good food um i hope y'all are very blessed and thankful i hope you have a great christmas too in case oh my gosh speaking of december the year oh i have to do something really nice for you guys but what the year um we're coming up on a year of this podcast that's crazy what is it december 3rd or december 8th that's a huge ass jump bitch but i genuinely don't know which one it is it's either the third or the eighth and i can't remember i'm gonna do something special maybe i'll twerk i'm just kidding i won't um we'll see no i'm just kidding um but yeah so any girl that's like specialized in niggatry let me know if i should if i should you know haul off on that nigga you know or if i should square up because i'm about it i'm i'm about it i'm never scared <laughs> but okay guys let's get right into the topic so i can let you guys go and i'm really really trying not to make this video that long so um oh my gosh one more one more story before i jump into the topics okay so remember how i said i was in the airport right mad as hell because i'm just feeling lonely and nobody wants me and I'm sad and shit like that you know I'm not my life is just, my life feel like it's crumbling down bitch right I was in the thick of it so I had a little breakdown had a little panic attack uh in the airport I'm not scared to say it right but I'm I can feel it you know how y'all who have them don't know what y'all can feel it coming on your heart start beating real fast and your breath start getting short you you like bitch I'm about to either pass out or break the fuck down so I'm crying and I'm a avid mask wearer in the airport. So you can only see my eyes and my glasses. Um, but it's visible that I'm crying, bitch. Like I'm running to, I'm like trying to get to the bathroom so I can cry. Um, tell me why I'm over here crying. And a nigga told me, hey, 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 excuse me. What's your name? Bitch. Y'all, I couldn't fucking believe it. I said, this nigga see me huffing and puffing. I got snot coming through the mask. Tears running down. The mask is soaking wet, right? And you talking about some, hey, hey, excuse me. Nigga, I should punch you in your fucking throat. I could, the audacity, like, I'm crying. I'm crying. And you talking about some, what's your name? Fuck you. That's my name. Fuck last name you. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I hated it. I hated every, I hated every part of that. I was like, you, mm. he, nigga ain't asked me what's wrong. You good? He just got straight to business. What's your name? What you doing? How you doing? Ugh. Oh my gosh okay what the heck? oh this is 
all of my topics today are so slight. This is how I know it's going to be a short episode. Okay. So you guys know that thing. Also, look at my sock, sock cam. Y'all see that? You can't. Fuck. This camera angle is crazy as fuck. By the way, if you can't say it, it says UA for my hair academia. I feel like I'm going to wear anime socks every ep episode because I got like a thousand of them. Um, but the first topic I just want to talk about very quick very short is um you guys know that trend on uh tiktok that happened a while ago that was like the social slights that annoy you that people do and a lot of them were like you know if you're showing somebody your favorite song or tv show and they talk in the middle of it or like just you know stuff like that just little shit that pisses you off mine my social slight that pisses me off no matter who it comes from, how you say this shit, or why you said it, it's gonna piss me off every fucking time. When I'm saying something to somebody, and the next thing they say is, so anyway, that right there, that made me wanna smack the shit out of anybody. That is rude as fuck. And I don't know if that stems from my childhood, because when I was a kid, we weren't allowed to answer like, yeah, or huh. Still to this day, I never say that shit to nobody. Even in text, I always say yes, or, you know, we just weren't allowed to say shit like that. So when niggas say, so anyway, you can say it in the most genuine way possible. Yeah. So anyway, don't dismiss me like I'm a fucking fart. You know what I'm saying? Don't. So anyway, me, you could be like, like I was saying, I'm fine with that. Like I was saying, it's cool. That's a segue back into the fucking main conversation. So anyway, it's crazy. I hate. So anyway, don't. So anyway, me, that's, that's worse. That's almost worse than LOL. That's almost worse than LOL. Anybody who know me personally know I can't fucking stand the LOL or Shore. Mango no, Mango no, Mango know that I don't like Shore. Every time Mango say Shore to me, I'm like, damn, so no. <laughs> you might as well just say no. Cause what the fuck is Shore? What is Shore? I hate, don't nobody talk like that. Nobody talk like that. Mango, I'm so sorry you had to catch a straight. You my girl. I love you to death. I hate a fucking Shore though. I hate Shore. Nobody says that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do hate it though. I do hate it. Yeah, I do hate it. It's it's trash. It's trash. It's awful. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, let's talk about it. As someone who is decently traveled, this is something that has always, always, always pissed me off. And as the years grow, it pissed me off in 2010. It pissed me off in 2016. And it pisses me off in 2023. When a black woman goes overseas, if she travels abroad and they just, just start staring and taking pictures of her, that pisses me off so bad. Black woman, I think we got to start barking at these niggas. Hey, call it what you want. I think we genuinely need to start barking at these niggas. You, you can no longer use the excuse of, oh, well, in their culture, they don't see, they don't see a lot of black people or there's not a lot of black people that live over there nigga is 2023 you've seen a plethora of black people i don't need to hear that if this was like 2009 i'd be like hey, them niggas probably never seen somebody in my skin collection before i get it it's you nigga you've seen us you've seen us you've seen i don't give a fuck if you in belgium bitch you've seen us you could be at the bottom of antarctica you've seen a nigga before don't do that i hate that shit i hate that shit so much and i know i shouldn't but i but actually yes the fuck i should I'm about to bark at everybody. Oh my God. You think niggas is a zoo? I'm about to turn into every fucking wild animal. I'm growling and everything. I hate that shit so much. And then niggas be trying to gaslight the black woman. Thomas. Oh, they're only looking at you because you're gorgeous, bitch. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's supposed to make me feel better. <clears throat> and most of the time you can see their face expression. They not looking at a bitch in admiration. They looking at a bitch like, what the fuck is that? No. Hey, look. Y'all, look. I don't y'all can call me what you want. You can say, oh, that's only gonna make it worse. That's why they think about us the way they do now. And that's got you you saying that sentence say more about you than it does about me. But that's a conversation for another time. So yeah, I I don't know. I've been to London. They don't do it in London because it's a black people there. I've been to Mexico, they don't do it there. I've been to Amsterdam, they don't do it there. It seems like it's only like <laughs> I'm not about to say that. <laughs> I'm not about to say that, but it seems like, you know, it's only like, you know, 
we got to start doing something. I don't, I just don't like that. I don't like that. And then my, y'all already know in my head, I think I'm like three shades darker than what I actually am. So when I see that a dark skinned woman is getting treated like that, it's just like, y'all wouldn't act like that. If she was light skinned and had curly hair, like stop, stop. I hate that shit. I hate that shit. That shit will always bother me. It bothered me as a flight attendant. It bothered, it bothers me as a regular tourist. Stop. Ugh. Oh, they've never seen you before. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's so fucked up, but it's so true. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a fucking monkey. Stop staring at a bitch. And then they be like trying to take pictures of you. Now, don't get me wrong. Please do not misconstrue. The people who walk up to you and ask, can I take a picture with you? Yes. Yes, absolutely you can. That's admiration. That's, I've never seen somebody of your stature, of your skin complexion, of your vividness i've never seen anything like this i want to take a picture with you to remember this motherfucker forever that's the type of shit that doesn't bother me but you 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 looking at me like that's weird as fuck no matter where you go i don't i don't know i don't like that stop also since i'm already irritated <clears throat> in the in the spirit of me being irritated this is just a quick PSA. <sighs> you guys, this is this is a very common PSA, but I just have to say it because the world is getting scary. If you are um a person that identifies as a man and as said man, you get the unfortunate um opportunity to watch a woman get abused physically and you choose not to do nothing about it or you see a video of a woman getting abused and in that same video no other man does anything and then you go into the comments to justify why those men didn't do anything with equal rights as your justification that's that's a waste of a fucking person and your mom should have pissed you out because there's no reason for you to be here um and actually i saw somebody say some sad but very true shit it was on tiktok she said um that the men of today, we women have to stop looking at men as saviors because the amount of men that ain't shit compared to the amount of men that are is fucking astronomical. The difference is astronomical in numbers. Um, so she was she was basically saying we can't say men ain't shit and also look to them as protectors. She was like, we got to start figuring this shit out <laughs> basically and that makes so much sense it makes so much sense to me because i was just like it's sad as fuck it's sad as fuck but it's facts i was like damn we we don't we don't get to say they ain't shit we don't get to know they ain't shit but also still look for them still look to them as protectors you know what i'm saying unfortunately they just got to be ain't shit all the way around and they good at it so it, that ain't no problem so Ladies, we got to start taking fucking um, aerobics and shit again like they was doing in the 90s. We got to start beefing these niggas up for real, like for real. And you, we already see what generation is being raised of men. These fucking. Yeah. So I ain't even gonna get into that. Also, can I um, can I shit? This is gonna be a bad ass episode. Why am I so angry? I don't know. I y'all can tell it's been a while since I talked to you. I got a lot of shit to get off my chest. But since we talking about it, can I can I share a personal like. I don't know what it is like a personal something I just really don't fuck with. Um, I don't like when like comment sections and stuff. I will literally lose a friend or like lose a person in my life if they're like a comment section type of bitch. Um, and that's such a petty reason to like end a friendship or or like talking to stage or relationship. But if you're like a a commenter under blogs, like if you be in the shade room comments, 
I cannot, I cannot be friends with you. And I don't, nobody give a fuck who I could be friends with or not. That's not saying that like, oh, she can't be friends with me because I definitely be coming on the shade room. Nobody give a fuck about, you know, it's, it's nothing personal. If you do, you don't give a fuck about being my friend. I'm just saying, I can't, I can't like, one of my famous sayings is like, I don't like being around stupid people because I, I genuinely feel like stupid is contagious. I feel like that shit will rub off. It, it just, it just, it, I've seen it, you know, I've seen it. So when I see pure ignorance and stupidity, I'm just like, I cannot be near that. You, my man, three grand, but like, I, I can't be, I can't be close to you. Like that relationship has to be like at a distance because you're a fucking idiot. And I don't, I don't like that. Like, I don't like that. Like, you know, those people who just be in comment sections, just, just, just saying irrelevant stupid ass shit i don't like that now don't get me wrong i be in comment sections on my podcast page i don't do anything on my personal page because i don't i'm not a it ain't no need for me to be even over there um but i am in comment sections on my podcast page but it's like laughing emojis or like it's funny like i'm never a negative commenter even if i think something negative in a video what i do swipe you know i just you know what I'm saying? And I, I got the shade room blocked. So it's just like, I, I just can't, I can't, I can't do that. And I don't like when people do that. So yeah. And also, you know what I think is weird? I just, I guess I'm just about to lay it all out. Some of you are about to catch so many strays and I'm so sorry. Um, you know how people be making <laughs> pages for their babies? I think the people who follow those pages are weird as fuck. Why does a baby have 5.2 million followers? No. No, you can justify it all you want to. It's weird as fuck. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. It's weird. It is weird. Here's something that I'm about to rat out my cousin for. I won't say his name, just in case he ever ends up on a podcast one day. Y'all gonna be like, that's that nigga that was talking shit. So one of my cousins is severely fat phobic. And I mean, severely. Like, he can't wait to say something negative about a big bitch. Like, he, his, his waking moment, his everyday waking moment is just like insult a big girl. And I don't know why. So I was recently on FaceTime with him. And um, who were we talking about that was big? I can't remember who we were talking about. We were talking about some famous woman who was big. And um, he was like, yeah, that's why she can't do nut nut with her big ass. And they just, I was just like, I just hate unnecessary shit like that. It's just like, why did you, well, like, what does her being big? First of all, she got more money than you'll make in your lifetime. So I just don't understand the the need to like mention that she's big. Every you think that bitch don't know she big? She big. First of all, let me just say something. Niggas who <laughs> don't like big bitches can't like pussy because I thought it was like globally known that big bitch pussy was the best pussy. Fingers be warm as hell in there. I'm just saying. No, y'all don't agree. All right, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm. <laughs> Maybe I'm too far off, but I thought, I thought that was like a, like a globally known thing. Maybe not. Maybe that's just a personal <laughs> experience that I've had, but you, you, I don't know. It's something about, it's something about a man that don't like, you know, shit, the shake that I'm just like, it's something up, it's something up with that. Now being gay is fine. I am uh fully invested in that but yeah i don't know do y'all agree i know it's a big girl watching listen you good the way you are i promise i promise if you were ever thinking like oh i need to lose a couple pounds or i need to tighten this up or i need to tighten this up hey look you can do whatever you want with your body you do whatever you want with your body but i'm telling you right now the way you are right now That's all I'm, that's all I'm saying. You can make any changes you want to. It ain't my, it ain't my decision to make. I'm just saying that that part is good. That part's good. Um, I'm really, I'm about to end this episode, y'all. Just, just please be patient. Please be patient. I got so much to talk about and I'm like fighting, like my hands are still shaking. I'm fighting like a, I'm fighting insecurities and like suppressing panic attacks while being on this camera. I'm getting so much more comfortable though, right? Let me know in the comments if you could tell, like, how much more comfortable I am from this video from the first one. I feel like I'm doing good. I feel like I'm doing good. This ring light is kind of helping because it's kind of blinding me to the point where I can't see the camera for real. So I don't know how good the focus is going to be because I don't know if I should be forward or backward more. But, you know.
know, fuck it. All right. Y'all, I feel like this episode was so like, um, so I can't wait to see how long it was because I feel like I didn't talk about anything, but not every episode has to be like glamorous. I want to share with you guys something because I know a lot of you guys that follow me are also content creators. Somebody gave me a wonderful piece of advice. I don't even know this woman. It was on Instagram DMs. Um, she was basically saying how she was listening to an episode and I, I keep flip flopping what I want to do with this podcast um, because I get so many, um, I get so many like requests and ideas and stuff, what to do that I start doubting my own. And I'm just like, oh, well, maybe I, I should do that because they want to see that. Or maybe I shouldn't do this because it didn't really, they didn't really receive it well. Nobody really liked that video. Nobody really, you know, fuck, engaged with it. And she was like, the more, she was basically saying, the more you try to please your audience, the more you're not going to want to do the podcast anymore. She was like, if you, if every video you post, you wait for that to be the one to jump off. She was like, it's never going to jump off. She was like, in five years, you might jump off. It's going to feel so long. She was like, but if you just relax and just record a po the podcast because you genuinely like recording the podcast and just put it out for people to see because this is just one of your hobbies. She was like, people will be able to see that and people like that shit and it'll come a lot faster. She was like, just basically she was telling me to fucking relax and I do need to relax because I'm, I'm this is, I promise y'all, I keep saying it, it's so new to me. I am not a tech savvy girl. I'm not a internet person. I'm really not. And I know a lot of people say that, but I mean that shit. Like if it's not obvious, <laughs> I'm really not. So, um, I am going to take that advice and just do, do it because I like it instead of trying to make it perfect and trying to make it this vision in my head already. When I just started, I'm just going to do it because I like it. Um, so yeah, I like this. So hopefully you guys like it too. Um, but one, one more thing that I'm going to just rant about before I end this episode because <laughs> it just reminded me of it. Y'all know how there's like influencers and stuff on Instagram or content creators and they're like trying to be relatable and they're just like, oh yeah, I'm depressed and my life is da 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 and I, I don't have shit figured out. But they're like eating caviar and Doritos or like as they're like trying to talk through their mental breakdown they're cutting through like a eight ounce steak i hate shit like that i really do because it's just like you don't even fucking know you don't know and i'm not saying that people who live like that can't be depressed can't be sad can't you know but i don't if i'm being honest i don't want to hear that shit from you you know i don't want to hear that shit from you i'm not trying to invalidate anybody's feelings i'm really not i am the king of being fucking sad and lost and depressed. I really do under fucking stand that shit, but you know, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. And I recently just saw a TikTok video that was this Asian girl who was mid tears, like crying her ass off, but she was like fucking up some like, <laughs> like a, a assortment of caviar. She had like three tin cans of caviar and shit. And I was just like, Hmm. Your life looked like it fucking sucked. She had like, um, her kitchen was like marble white. I was like, yeah, it looks like you live in a terrible life. Um, I don't know. So there, there's, there's some shit that's relatable. And then there's some shit that looks like you trying to fucking joke. Like you trying to play me. I really do like live this sad shit. Like really like bitches be used to <laughs> eat water for dinner talking about sad like talk about life ain't you know that steak look juicy your lights on you know your hair healthy you got a lululemon suck that shit up niggas get shot every day you know what i'm saying and i know that sounds terrible y'all but it's just like i don't i don't i can't relate to you i can't relate to this video i can relate to the emotions but i'm not seeing 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 let me catch my breath <laughs>